Kansas City, uh, Kansas Attorney General Chris Kobach filing a lawsuit this week. Now, he is a big Trumper, and this plays well with the fringe Trump supporters. But Trump is not touting this lawsuit, claiming Pfizer was making misleading and deceptive claims about its COVID vaccine. It's a very interesting political disconnect. Trump supporters are anti-vaccine. He is not. Do the allegations in the suit line up with science? Let's bring in Cornell University virologist and vaccine researcher, friend of show, Dr. John Moore. Doc, thanks again. Appreciate you, especially on short notice. Uh, let me go through these main allegations. You give me your take on whether they'll stand up. Uh, first one, they wrongly claim the vaccine prevents transmission. This is not a vaccine. It's a therapeutic. Fair? Totally unfair. Vaccines generally don't prevent transmission. What they do is reduce the severity of infection, reduce hospitalization, and keep people out of the morgue. And they've done that spectacularly well. But when I get a vaccine for measles, mumps, rubella, I don't get those things. When you get the vaccine for COVID, you still get it. Well, they're different viruses, and our immune systems deal with them in different ways, and the vaccines against them work in different ways. So it's a false analogy. Just because a measles vaccine is for life doesn't mean that a vaccine against a different virus made by a different way works in exactly the same way. The science is different. Following up on that, that we were told that the vaccine would, this is the allegation, would protect against new variants and the protection went down with each variant, but the messaging didn't change. False advertising. I don't know what advertising was done. I'm, I'm a scientist. I don't follow the media advertising campaigns. But the vaccines lost their ability or had reduced ability to protect against infection because the virus diversified from mid-2021 onwards to an extent that nobody predicted. Nobody saw that extent of variation coming. Nobody predicted the Omicron surge. So the vaccines lost potency against mild infections, but they retained their ability to protect against severe disease and death. And up until this day, a disproportionate number of COVID deaths are in people who were never vaccinated. You call that red COVID. You really believe that people on the basis of their political feelings about the vaccine that wound up having uh, a determinating, uh, determinational effect on their health? Well, red COVID is very real. It's a statistically proven phenomenon whereby if you are a resident in a county or a state that voted Republican in 2020, from 2021 onwards, you are disproportionately likely to die of COVID because you are disproportionately less likely to be vaccinated and therefore not protected. And the reason you're not, you're less likely to be vaccinated is you're bombarded with disinformation from right-wing media sources, mm. notably Fox News, and by the political leadership of the red states. So the red state politicians right. ended up killing their own constituents and voters. Well, Dr. John Moore, uh, this is an ongoing conversation. As they put meat on the bones, I'll come back to you for how it squares up with your understanding of the research. Thank you as always. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.